We're going to start in Max here with the basic modeling that it takes to build the foundation of our scene, which is very simple, but there's some tools that I want to let you guys know about that can help you to build terrain, basically. So first thing I'm going to do is, is XREF in the building, which I'm going to make available for you all, the architecture. It's called House XREF. To do the XREFs, and you don't have to XREF th this into your scene. I'm just going to give it to you as a model. So you can merge it in, open it, do whatever you want. I'm just going to XREF it in. And to bring up the XREF manager, it's the backslash, which is just above the enter key on your keyboard. And that brings up this manager. At least that's how it is for me. Otherwise, you might have to find it in a menu somewhere. But there's the house, XREF'd in, or the building. Okay, it's even got some nice furniture in there for you. And it's got the lighting. The materials won't come across in the version I give you because those don't belong to me. I'll show you how we make those in Megascans. Okay, so you'll be on your own for materials. But that is not really what this course is about. Okay, let's start with the terrain. Now, what I did was get the basic slope of the terrain. I'm just creating a rectangle here and converting to edit poly. Okay, and then with the poly, I then took edges and started dragging them off. Actually, let's drink, take this closer to the house so that the, the hill starts immediately after the house. So from there, we go downhill. Because you can see in my original image, my conceptual image, that we're downhill from the house when we take the picture or the rendering. So then we can take these edges and drag them out while holding shift to create new geometry. Actually, this should be enough right here. We can go even more downhill like that. Maybe bring this one up. And by the way, in this course, I'm using a lot of my custom user interfaces, which I'll give you links and a video of how to get all these over here, use my hotkeys if you want them. But I'm assuming some knowledge on your part of how you work and how you do things. Again, this isn't a beginner course starting from the very beginning. So, But if you want everything to look like mine, you can load my custom UI. Okay, so we made a very, very basic shape here. And then let's take off from here on these edges and make kind of our mid-ground. Okay, so we made our foreground. Let's make our mid-ground by doing this. And then we have our background, which will have scatters of trees on them, and they'll be far away from our house, giving us a, a very large environment to deal with. Let's make this even further. Okay, so what I'm going to do is probably detach all this using basic poly tools, detach. And then I'm going to take this one on its own and kind of uh, tessellate it a whole bunch. We can just put a turbo smooth on it and smooth it maybe five times, maybe six times. Okay, that's going to be plenty for us. Okay, now just collapse that. Now in the next, so we have our basic geometry setup. This can all remain very simple like this. That's all fine. We're not too worried about the edges because we'll clean that up a little bit. And yeah, in the next scene, we'll start sculpting this a little bit and set up a camera so that we can tell what it's going to look like for our final image. But then we're just going to do some basic sculpting to add a little more terrain going on in this foreground piece. And then the background we'll just leave as is. It's just there so we can scatter objects onto it.